was very exciting. We never thought of not sending in qualifications, but it seemed uh, we weren't sure that it was actually going to happen. Um, I mean, we were peripherally, you know, uh, aware of his work. We'd seen his, uh, some of his art projects and also some of his architectural projects and this big master plan thing that he'd done. I mean, it's pretty well published stuff. So we'd seen it. I, I, I hadn't actually put together some of the pieces, like I knew them individually. Um, but uh, obviously as soon as we heard who uh, was organizing this, we looked up his work and got more familiar and kind of put things together, put the projects together. I think you have to look at it as part of the context. I mean, just as with any project, but here even more so because he's uh, he's very involved in in the entire thing, in the setup, even in the process as opposed to the end result where um, typically clients are most concerned about the end result, but here he's very interested obviously in the process, which is unusual and uh, it, it, it's interesting, it's yeah. fun. It, it was difficult and I think everyone struggled with, you know, most of the questions in the first round were who's going to live here, where are they getting their money, you know, are these families, uh, is, are these vacation homes. So, uh, you know, it's obviously those are very important questions, but at some point we kind of just suspended our disbelief and said, okay, let's imagine what the kind of brief and the master plan tells us about who would live here, and we use that as a kind of, you know, owner or client. Or, or not only that, but just looking at the whole collection of the type of people that will live there and what the activities might be and the fact that it is going to become an attraction itself just because of the collection, uh, the body of work that's going to be there to be seen. And so we actually, we looked at that aspect of it as well in addition to, you know, who is actually going to be living in the house, who's going to be coming and looking at the house. Right, because the, the whole um, kind of architectural showcase is so important that in a way that that's what I meant by the, you know, the context and the brief. It, there's all this other stuff implied in there, which is kind of larger than the individual who's going to live there. But also the individual or family or who's going to live there is incredibly important. So it was always this, this dialogue between those two kind of right. conditions that were implied in the brief. We started thinking about that um, immediately because you know that's going to be so important to the overall success of the project and um, we embraced it I mean we it was understood that material costs were high relative to labor costs so we said okay that's kind of the opposite from what we have to deal with normally so how can we use uh, that to our advantage and so we used uh, brick which was given as the least expensive uh, material as the kind of preferred material and we just looked at ways that we could manipulate the the material through labor to create something that was unique and different so we have a kind of a simple material brick box but pretty elaborately um, laid out so it relies a lot on on the, the construction process rather than some fancy or expensive materials yeah I would actually say that since in this project we had um, so much flexibility on the client side, we actually focused even more on the constructability and the construction techniques, also because it was, you know, it's an unfamiliar environment, and so we wanted to be sure that we really thought about that in a way that, um, in a detailed fashion, you know, like from the ground up. Yeah, unfamiliar, and also there's a, another concern that's probably shared by most architects is the, uh, our ability to control or not control the quality and uh, the changes that happen as the, our drawings are taken and reinterpreted in China. So, yeah. you know, I think that's something that we were sensitive to and I, I imagine most of the firms were grappling with in, in their own ways. We wanted a building, you know, we, we did take the, the kind of given context, the material uh, limitations and constraints, the, you know, the site, obviously, and then the kind of Im implied, uh, the implications of the master plan and, and the brief in general, this 10,000 square foot villa with a pool in Mongolia. And so what we're trying to do is create something that reflects all of those things and 
and somehow you know addresses each of those aspects of the project uh, in, in an intelligent way and still gives you this you know cool house hopefully. <laughs>
the fact that you are pretty much given free reign. It's a gigantic house, and the house is a kind of you know typology that everybody is always interested in looking at. So, in some regards, this is a, a dream project. Yeah.